Hello everyone, this is Tammy from Tammy Colors 2. I got some new watercolors and I thought I would do an unboxing and a swatching video and kind of show them to you since it's watercolor summer. And I am co-hosting watercolor summer with Michelle from Kits and Caboodles. So this is very appropriate to show my new watercolors. Uh, so let me get started and then we'll decide how we're going to tackle this. I like to keep my videos not all that long, so we'll see. I have some ideas. Um, but first, uh, these have been around a while, the 24 metallic colors from Arteza. Uh, is this the first? I am going to do my watercolor collection. I was going to start doing all of my um, supplies, like my pencils and my watercolor pencils and markers and stuff because I haven't done that for over a year but since it's watercolor summer I think I'm going to do my watercolor collection and I will start with that soon uh, to get it in with watercolor summer so these will be part of it so I wanted to get them all swatched out but I do not have any of well that's not true I have the Arteza gouache I have Arteza metallic gouache other than that I don't have any other uh, Arteza watercolors so but I had my eye on these and they were on sale they were a pretty good sale so I just decided to go for it so they come in a box and then in the box is this little tin and the water brush is in here can I get it open maybe isn't this always the fun part let's try the other end So here is the water brush that you get. I think they do several types of water brushes. They do this style. They do, I think, the kind with the buttons on them, which maybe they used to. Oh, I don't have them. I have them in a box in my drawer. I don't have them in this drawer because they're fat, so they don't fit in this drawer up here. But they look just like these, only they're red and they have Arteza on them. Uh, I do like these a lot. Uh, and then the, they had the, um, actually, are these Arteza? Yeah, they had these also, this style. So as far as I know, I haven't looked lately, don't quote me on that. They used to have several different styles of water brush, so. And I do like them all, so. Uh, you open it up, you get two, which is a nice touch. Uh, swatching charts, a black one, and a cream colored one on watercolor paper, which is nice. It's awfully smooth for watercolor paper, but this is the paper that you get when you get their packs of pencils and stuff where they put all the stuff in it. So, uh, pretty. And then you open this up, and they are all wrapped. So, we are going to unwrap those off camera and come back. But first, we're going to show all the other watercolors. So we'll stick those over there. Next, since we're on glitter, we will do these. These are the Art Whale. I have not had any Art Whale uh, watercolors before. They are supposed to be really good um, for a budget watercolor. They were all the rage, I think, was it last year? When people discovered them. I didn't know they had um, glitter metallic. Um, oh, I should show you the back of the box. So, oops. Uh, there's the back of the box. It shows you all the colors. I've been looking at the Paul Rubens ones, but then the, they had a 50% coupon for these, and I was amazed, and so I'm like, well, heck with Paul Rubens, I'm just gonna get these. <laughs> I'm not sure I need the Paul Rubens and these. So they do have a swatch card on watercolor paper. It's a nice watercolor paper. They don't have a black one, which is okay. I could do my own in black. Um, and then they put a water brush in there, and then all of them are wrapped. And they're so shiny. I love the the shiny uh, wrapping. <laughs> it's so cute. So there's that. You get, I've got a lot of cloths now. I'll start using those. 
I assume they're in there to wrap your, or sorry, wipe your brush on rather than using paper towels. And then I also got, what am I doing? Um, a 24 set of their normal watercolor. Uh, they do have a 48 set, uh, but it wasn't on sale and these were, and so I'm like, I want to get some. So I do have a fair amount of normal watercolor also, so this looked like a nice set. Purple, look at all the different colored tins. I have like an Easter basket of paint tins right now. And then, I love their tri-folded sheets. I really like this style of sheet, it's nice. So there's those. And I love that they wrap them in colors. That's so pretty. And another water brush. So that is what they look like. Now I will go off, unwrap them, which is not my favorite job, and come back and we can look at what's in the pan and swatch them. All right, so I have unwrapped these. We'll start with the, the Art Whale 48 set of metallic watercolors. And so I've got them here. This is what they look like unwrapped. Here's my water brush. I'm gonna use this water brush to swatch them out. And what I did was, if I can get one of them out, maybe, possibly, there it goes. Um, so these just have a wrapping uh, that's over the top of them, so I just pulled it off and put it on the bottom because these pans are not labeled. It wasn't too hard to do because I feel like if, if any kind of chaos ever happens and the pans tend to fall out, or if they happen to fall out, all these, these seem, seem tight. So, um, but just in case, I'll always know which color is what. So, that being said, um, you know, that's, that's my only complaint so far, is it's really nice to have the pans labeled. So, I also need to check really quick and see if I can find a black sheet of paper so I can do these on black to see what they look like. So, um, let me do that. And if I can do that, then you'll see me swatch these, hopefully speed it up on um, black paper. So, um, give me a minute and I'll be right back. All right, so I have unwrapped these, and this is what they look like. Now these, um, let me get one out. None of, none of them are labeled, so these are clear pans, as you can see, so they're not labeled. They don't have a number on them, so I trimmed the um, backs, or I trimmed the stickers and stuck it on the back so that... Um, I would, in case calamity happens or the unthinkable and they all fall out, I can put them back in order. So these are the gorgeous 24 Arteza colors. I will get my water brush and the swatch charts and swatch them out. See you in a minute. All right, and finally the third set, the regular Art Whale watercolors, the 24 set. I have 
open those up and this is what they look like. Uh, so what I do with these is they are not labeled either. So I decided to um, write the numbers on the sides of the pans. Um, but I'd like to show you like the stickers are, um, oops, I hit that. So on the side, you can see uh, they do have a light fast reading. Uh, so don't ask me why I didn't trim them down, just stick them on the back. I didn't feel like they would stick well enough maybe, but those are the stickers. I just thought I'd save a couple to show you. So let's go ahead and swatch these out and we'll be right back. All right, so we got all these swatched out, and now we're gonna take a look. So the Art Whale, these are the 48 metallic colors, and they are beautiful. I don't have a lot of colored metallics. I mean, I have golds and silvers, um, but what I wanted was a lot of colors, and these are awesome. Uh, and here's what they look like on black. So there are some gorgeous colors. I mean, like, uh, so these first three here and the first three here, like you can see the pearlescent pure is way different on black. Um, there were a couple others. The, oh, what was the other one? Like the lilac pearl. Oh, let me find it here. So here's the lilac pearl here. And here it is here. So you can see it on this side. Uh, if I put them next to each other, see how silvery it is and how pink it is? That's kind of amazing. They look so different. Look how different the pearl berry looks, which is this one right here. I love the galaxy purple. The galaxy purple is gorgeous. And then you come over here and you have your blue pearl, which is this one, and it is right here. So it's really blue on black and it's very transparent and iridescent on white. So these are like really cool colors. I like them. So that's that. Then we had the Arteza metallic watercolors, and these are the colors that are here. So you've got your the lemon gold is much more gold, or lemon yellow is much more gold color um, than up here. These look similar on black, but they look really different on white. You know, these look more similar here than they do here. And this one's like, oh, what was that? Iridescent pink has kind of a greenish tint to it, but here it doesn't. So that's interesting. The orchid purple. Uh, let's see, then you got, I might be able to do it this way. Then you got those. Look how different the plum purple looks. Awesome. I mean, the iridescent green looks different. So if I compare, if I can compare what colors are similar in here, you've got a diamond white that is really more similar to the silver white. But it's still a little bit different. It's like white. It's more silver, whereas this one's hard to describe. Your plum purple and your pearl berry, which are right here, 
look almost the same. I'm sure there are a couple golds that are the same, like the Aztec gold looks the same as the royal gold. The gold looks the same as golden, maybe. We've got a lemon yellow, which looks very similar to flash yellow. Um, iridescent pink kind of looks like, hmm, it's not really anything similar. Just wondering about the blue. Let me fold this. So your cactus green looks a lot like your turquoise. The frosty blue is kind of different. Frosty blue doesn't look like anything. The powder blue doesn't really look like anything because it's gray. The sky blue and the sky blue are not quite the same. Looks almost like the sleepless blue, but the sleepless blue is much more uh, transparent than your greens. Um, I suppose the bright green and the lettuce green are, very, are similar. And then you've got your jungle green, which is very similar to your golden green. Um, the silver is much brighter. So I like them both for different reasons. Um, much, much more fun. I will use them both. Uh, and then here are the Art Whale, just plain 24 colors. These are gorgeous colors. They're very vibrant. They remind me of the Prima watercolors. Of course, a lot of people have enjoyed these. I know they were very popular. I um, guess I got a doppy there, didn't I? Uh, I think um, I need to, I mean, I really want the 48 set. If they put it on sale, I'm going to get me a set of 48 of these. And I'll just be happy with everything. So, so I think what I'll do, if you want to see me do these in a picture, I think I'm going to use these. Um, I did a... Um, I did a picture in Steampunk Mandalas by um, Satch and Satch Diva that I did a color and chat in. So I'm going to do a separate video and I'm going to use these um, and embellish that picture. I just want to do it in a separate video in case people are just interested in seeing the embellishing and not... Um, you know anything about the paints i'm definitely going to use these these are gorgeous um how do these compare to my calero no because calero is probably the shiniest paint that i've ever had and do i have my watercolor swatch hang on all right if you want to compare so let's see these are some calero that i have i thought i had more calero Oh, I haven't swatched them, but they're blue colors. Gosh, I gotta do that. <laughs> I am failing at my swatching. Uh, so, yes, I will do that. Um, so, Clearo is very, very gold and shiny. Um, so, the art wheel, you can kind of see if I do it this way. I mean, it's comparable, but I mean, the Clearo is just a little bit shinier, but you know, the, the art wheel is not disappointing. Not disappointing at all when you compare them, the gold colors together. Um, and then I have some ting, 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 metallic watercolor. Um, so you got your, which is another really shiny one. It's not quite as shiny as, as, as Calero, but it's close. So these are very comparable to each other. Very, very similar. I like that. So you can kind of see the blacks and the, the bronzes over here. We got a similar shine. Then I've got the Komarabi um, watercolor, the classic metallic colors, which I have on black and white. They're shiny. I don't like them as much as the Ting, Ting or the Calero, but you know, they're cool. 
And then those are colors, so I've got some nice, nice colors. I don't know if I have anything. I guess these are similar, like this is similar to that. The purple, uh, I don't think the purple. The red in this Komarabi is just gorgeous. Uh, very, very bright. I mean, it's similar to this rose red, but this one is much more red, in my opinion. So we got that. So the Arteza are much paler in comparison to the colors. Um, in a lot of ways. So they don't have a really dark purple or dark blue. Um, I suppose this cactus green is like the green I mean they don't have names really <laughs> so you know it's still these are much brighter so and if I compare the let's see look at the Clearo I mean the Arteza don't even compare to the Clearo not really probably or the Ting I mean I probably still the colors are similar these are vaguely similar. So I don't know, I mean, maybe this helps you. I'm glad I have all the ones I have. Um, the other set of watercolors I have. Sorry about that. Are these? And I never swatched them. What a horrible person I am. Gosh. I always swatch my stuff. Why have I not swatched these? But um, they would probably be the shiniest also because they're clear. Oh, they're gorgeous. I just never swatch them. So I'm going to do that like right now. Green, pearl. These are gorgeous colors. I want the rainbow colors also. But yeah. So uh, I hope that helped you. <laughs> A little bit um, with your decision making if you want any of these they're beautiful beautiful colors I mean like I said the, the Arteza's are probably my least favorite of all of them but they do have their place you know what I mean I mean they're they're pretty they really are pretty so I'm not sad that I have them there because sometimes you want a more muted palette for what you're doing than a bright palette so they really have their uses so um when i do the uh embellishment in the steampunk mandalas video i will put it in the description so if it's not there uh yet when you watch this video it means i haven't done it yet um so Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this, playing around with my watercolors and having fun. It was a lot of fun swatching them. Uh, oh, I didn't say that, oh, like I said, none of these uh, came with printed numbers on the sides, like the, um, what are they called, the, the Prima, wa Prima Watercolor Confections have a number. Um, these don't. So on the Arteza ones, which were the hardest ones to get off because it's a sticker wrapped all the way around, I trimmed the sticker down and placed it on the back of the uh, pan so that, you know, like I said, in case they come out, I'll be able to line them up. Otherwise, I wouldn't know. So I, And these just had the bottom stickers. Although on this one, um, I wanted to show you because I'm lame and forgot. Um, these are what the Art Whale normal watercolor stickers looked like and the other ones so they have this and they do have a light fast rating if you can see that so every one of these colors has a light fast rating um, I saved a few stickers for posterity um, these uh, if I can get another one out I actually just numbered by hand <laughs> um, but that's that's that these the art wheels were the easiest ones to get the wrapping off of um these were the artesas were a pain in the butt because they were wrapped all the way around and sticky on all sides and um i had to trim them but anyway that's all the information i have again not a professional watercolorist here but 
I am someone who enjoys my watercolors and the metallic colors. And I think I finally, I mean, I'm still going to order, I don't know, I may have enough for now. Um, we'll see how I like these colors and then I may add more to my collection. I'm sure I will in the future. Um, but anyway, there you go. Thank you for watching. I hope you had a great time. Let me know. Let me know if I could do something different in the future because I'm going to try to play around with my stuff if people are interested. Um, so like I said, I didn't even know the, the Art Whale Metallic existed. Maybe I'm just living in a hole and I didn't know that. So I just thought I would show them all to you in case anybody, in case there's someone who hasn't seen them. So uh, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Happy coloring. Happy hobbies and everything you do. And I will see you in a next in my next video. Bye.